What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Look, y'all, I wanted to be nice in this video or mean. I'm not going to be either or. I'm just going to talk the truth, man. I love battle rap. I've been loving battle rap forever. And people think you got to be a blogger to love battle rap. The only reason I used to blog on battle rap is because I was tired of sitting back and watching certain people do misinformation about the great sport that I love because it is a sport and a culture. I made many friendships in the battle rap cultures and one of the best ones was Tay Rock and Math Hoffman. Yeah, Math, Math is so real. I don't know what else to tell y'all. And, and I told him in face, well, not face to face, but live the lives. I love you, brother Math. And I got love for his brother too who was going through the thing. So these are not the people I'm talking about. I'm not even talking about the battle rappers, which I should call y'all out. But a lot of y'all, let's just be fair, a lot of y'all don't even have platforms. We're calling out the battle rap bloggers. Now, if this don't apply to you and you're a battle rap blogger, let it fucking fly out. I think I seen Piper Boy Williams speaking about it, so much respect to Piper Boy Williams. And we're not gonna, everybody else, if you feel some type of way, then it is you I'm talking about. The only guy I can give a little bit of respect to about it is Piper Boy Williams. Because he talked about it. I've been sitting back and watching you battle rap bloggers. Man, and I told everybody I'm right. You motherfuckers love placating to certain groups of people. You guys like lying and acting like you down with the movement. Before I even get on y'all, let's do the disclaimers. Now, battle rap bloggers got this thing. They like living in this fake facade world. They call themselves battle rap communities, which is fake. We've never had a real battle rap community. We just had certain platforms and group where we all like the same thing and we talk about it. Y'all gonna say that is a community. It's not when we allow and don't speak about certain things. In that community, they allow pedals. They don't even get into outrage about certain pedals until they see the masses talk about it. In that community, they allow certain thieves, certain, we can keep going. I don't personally, you know, wanna judge y'all on that, but it's not a community when it's that. And I'm not even hating that fake community they call it. I'm more saying that let's not be fake and act like it's a real community. We've seen too many things go down. We see the way it is now. It is not a community. We all just like the same thing. Do we like each other? Right. This has been some of the foulest communities I've seen. George Floyd is dead. And the community is worried about the white people who donate to them and their white friends. You think I'm lying? Go watch their videos. Math. I'm, I'm sorry, Math Hoffer is kind of low-key a blogger now, but I didn't want him to be a part of this because Math been talking about this even before it happened, which is why we all love Math Hoffer. We are. Y'all gonna tell me he punched Sirius Jones and all? Fuck out of here. Number one, Sirius Jones was doing too much. Not that I support black on black vines, but let's, you gonna equate that to what we're seeing from bloggers. So you can talk about Math hitting another black dude, but you can't talk about these cops killing a black person? A lot of you battle rap bloggers a week. I got majority of all y'all phone numbers. Do I call? No, because when I talk to majority of y'all in real life, you just a bitch nigga with a camera. Facts. M most of y'all. A bitch nigga that want to be seen and heard. Most of you niggas are effeminate. Most of you niggas are weak. Most of you niggas been tap dancing and bucking on this YouTube for years now. Some of you niggas wear costumes. A lot of you niggas are just weirdos. You try to make certain people look a certain way, and it's true. You use your platform just to shit on niggas. Y'all, majority of y'all tried to defeat me, and I passed all of y'all. Passed y'all. Passed y'all. You can get rid of my channel today. You can make fake narratives, and niggas still gonna know I smoke hip-hop live. You still can't find people that know you battle rap bloggers. The only people who know you guys is people like me who love battle rap. But let's just keep it real. A lot of people watch battle rap. But how many people love battle rap like me and you guys? Not a lot. I'm addicted to battle rap. Even during the George Floyd situation, to make myself feel better, I went back to um, Tay Rock versus um, um, Boom. I'm um, Kaboom. Just to look at old battles, just to, because sometimes the, the race thing can make you snap. So you do something that you won't see your family again. So I had to settle down for a little bit. Not to forget, but you battle rap bloggers can't even speak about though you can continue being a raccoon ass nigga just talk about it a little bit which is sad because if i had a platform which i do you supposed to talk about it a lot not a whole lot but goddamn, aren't you black if you're a white blogger i personally don't care if you talk about george floyd or not meaning that 
you're not my agenda, meaning that I won't be surprised if you don't give a fuck about George Floyd. I won't even be mad at you. You're doing what you're supposed to do, I think. I don't know. I'm talking about these black ones who kiss ass all day, who join, who, who coon and bug for certain white bloggers. I, I pay attention to that shit. The same ones who are talking about these white bloggers so bad. Yeah, remember doing them phone conversations? Yeah, I'm the only one who gives some of these white bloggers love in the middle when these shits first started. When you all was like, no, I smoke hip hop. That dude is a racist. Don't fuck with him. Now these same bloggers are kissing ass. Yeah, I know what type of fake community this is. I see it. We, me and you weak niggas can never be friends in real life. There's a reason why a lot of y'all so scary won't even see me for real. Some of you whole ass bloggers, yeah, I just said whole ass bloggers, up there asking dumb ass questions. The weak contents that y'all put out, Adi Boom should get called out. I'm not done with you yet, Adi Boom. It's just that no time to worry about Adi Boom right now. Some real shit is transpiring right now that's been going on. We can't lose focus. But you niggas love talking about the Adi Boom shit, right? But you won't talk about a cop killing a black dude. You might lose your sponsors, right? I can call all you niggas out by names, but it's so open to everybody. I don't have to call you niggas out by names no more. They can see it. If you feel like I hit you, then obviously you're the one I'm talking about. Facts. Make 100 videos about me, all of that. But I know black people are going to ride with me. That's what I care about at this moment. I care about all races. But the ones who's gonna ride with me right now, I see it by the numbers, are black people. So I don't care to each his own, your sponsors are gonna hate me, or your white or Spanish, and other ethnicity of fans are gonna hate me for saying this. I know even the black ones don't like me, or low key with their family saying, thank you, blessed one. We may not agree, but thank you for being a voice for, them, for me, brother. Even the people in your chat rooms, yeah, you're gonna see them trying to show off, cause that's what we do as a people. Oh yeah, fuck that nigga, I smoke. But low key, when the camera turn off and your whack ass YouTube channel turn off and they're scared with their black kids, they're gonna be like, damn, man, this nigga go hard for us. That's all I care about. That's why I do this. And I'm not monetized. You cowards are monetized. You so scared. Some of you, that's your only life is YouTube. They turn YouTube off, you have no life. You failed to have other streams of revenues and that's the pathetic nature in it. Math Hoffer became a better blogger than all of you clowns. Ain't that embarrassing? You guys made a living talking about these battle rap bloggers need to do X, Y, and B. A real nigga like Math wasn't accepted because he was a battle rapper. He was accepted because he was a real nigga. Something a lot of you bloggers ain't. Bunch of clown niggas with cameras. Facts. I know. I know. Truth hurts. Clown niggas who get together think you're doing something because you're talking about a fucking battle rap battle. At a time like this, talking about a fucking battle rap battle. You couldn't make this up if you want. Pedophile, ped, pedos didn't work to call out. You niggas barely even called out Tech 9 because you all was scared. It's making us look bad. Let's not talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Then, after damn near four months of everybody in the real world waking y'all whole ass up, then y'all all wanted to call out Tech 9. I paid attention. Chris and Bias was all y'all best friends. Then y'all all was, oh, fuck Chris and Bias. Yeah, right. You niggas waited before you called him out. But I thought even with that fuckery, all that bullshit going on, you niggas would at least stand up like black men when it came to issues like this. But you have yet to do it. Got all these platforms and yet don't want to just say, you know what? You don't even have to be mean. I I'll be fair to you weak, scary cowards. You don't even have to make your white sponsors and your white fans uncomfortable. Just go, I love everybody and I love George Floyd and leave it at that. But you so scared to even bring the name George Floyd. Oh, YouTube might turn that green into yellow. Yeah, you think I don't know about that? I've been monetized once before on YouTube. Right, you think I don't know why you guys doing it? weak fucking cowards some of you guys got white girlfriends or white wives and you so scared they're gonna leave you or something if they really love you and this is the person that's supposed to love you till death do us part why are you so worried about speaking against a harm that's happening to your people because if they love you they'll rock with you right certain niggas like i don't want to say his name he's a certain white youtuber that's trying to be hood he got braids. You guys know him. He called himself In The Cut. We're going to leave it at that. In The Cut. You know the rest of his name. You've done so many racist shit. I've been could have aired you out. Now you want to ride. And you have yet to even rode for George Floyd. Nigga, I, I don't fall for that trick. 
And it's not because you white. It's because what you said in the past. Trying to placate YouTubers that beef with each other because your weak ass got blocked from me. So you lied about what I did to you. I knew them other tap dancing buck coons would have ride to your defense. And you still couldn't even get 2,000 subscribers after seven years on YouTube. Niggas don't fuck with you. I don't have to make this videos about you clowns. You niggas show the truth about who you are every fucking day. Yeah, battle rap bloggers. You didn't fail me because I knew what the fake community was. But all you people getting there talking about the hood shit and the black shit, you guys are cool. Tap dancing bugs that you you niggas are, I'm going to tell you the truth why y'all mad at the, the industry of rap industry. Not because what they do, you want to be a part of it. So it hurts you because you can't sell out like they sold out. That's the truth. Always calling out these industry rappers need to go battle these battle rap um, rappers. Why? When the bloggers are the same thing, and I'm going to keep it real, some of these battle rap rappers are the same thing. A bunch of niggas are mad because they didn't get to sell out. Facts. Don't worry, bro. You can sell out all you want. By you being quiet, you already 